Go to Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Let's prove it real fast. I'm going to prove to you that that's who Moses is talking to right now. The Israelites. All right? See this sign right here? All these people are Israelites. The nation is Israel. The tribe is Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Reuben, Asher, uh, uh, Issachar, Nassau. Those are the tribes. The nation is Israel. So when you read Israelites in the Bible, that means those people, those families. Right? Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Because a lot of people think the Bible is talking to everybody and about everybody. It's not. It's talking to, well, we're going to read it. Because I might be lying to you. So let's read it. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who did Moses go into Egypt to bring out? The Israelites. Right. Anybody else? No, no, just the Israelites. Right. That's who the Bible is talking to. Right. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. Now that we understand who these things are pertaining to that we're about to read, we're going to understand plainly. This is our people in this book. This is our record book. This is our history. Watch this. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh oh. Now, this is one curse that befell our people around the 1600s. Right? Early 1600s through, through, all the way through 1865 or 69. Was it 65 or 69? 65, right? The Emancipation Proclamation, right? And even after, really, but let's, if we're being political about it, right? From, the, from 1619 all the way to the Emancipation Proclamation, by law and decree, our children were systematically taken from, you have a baby, it's taken from you, and it's put on an auction block, and it's sold. While you over there getting sold to the other side of the country. That's, that happened to, who, how many people did that happen to? Who else? I say just my people. Anybody, any, any, that happened to anybody? You got another history than me, I, right? Let's read on. That's just one curse. We're going to get some more. Watch this. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Now, the funny thing is, you're no longer called an Israelite. So I'm saying something that's strange to y'all right now. Y'all the real Jews. Y'all the real Israelites. Right? This is what it means to be called a byword and to be an astonishment. You know what an astonishment is? Astonishment is this. I tell you, y'all know what the what beats peel, the, uh, the little speaker? Y'all know the little speaker? If I cut Cardi B on and throw it right there on the, and, and on the ground, you're going to get some sisters come, our people, and twerk right there. All you got to do is throw And you know what the other nations do? Look. And keep walking. Our people have, in fact, become an astonishment and a, a proverb and a byword. You know what a proverb is? A wise, true saying. I give you one. You want to hide something from a black man? How we all know that? I ain't never met y'all before. I ain't never spoke to y'all. But how we all know that? Because our people have emphatically become a proverb and a byword. You're not called Israelite no more. You're not called by your God-given name no more. You're called African-American now. You're called by two white men now. What? That's what you're called by. Leo Scipios Africanus, the man who conquered the north, northern part of Africa. And they so prideful, they just named the whole damn continent after him. And then Amerigos Vespucci, the man who stole, not found or explored, no, he stole the land of what you now know of as America from the Native Americans. So now you're called African Americans. Those are two white men. You're not called Israelite. You're not called Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Naphtali, Gad, Zebulon, Reuben, Manasseh, Issachar. You're not called that no more. Some of us say we black. My boots black. That's a color in a crayon book. What's my nation? What's my people nation? Where we come from? We have to in for sure become a byword, a proverb, and an astonishment. Watch this. Verse 48. Mm, excuse me. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. The curses shall be upon us. The curses shall be upon the real Israelites. Come on. For a sign. For a sign. Welcome to Buck Row. That's a sign there. You know that we are now standing on Buck Row Beach. That's signs indicating things. Uh, 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 the, the keep off stage. You know not to get on that stage because what? The sign says it. 
So the curses that we suffer, the things that we go through, and we're going to get into some more, because right now it might be a little bit shrouded in mystery still for some of us, right? But the things that we suffer, that our people as a nation, not just one or two of us, our entire nation suffer, is how you would know in the latter days who the real Jews are, who the real Israelites are. Not somebody's opinion, not somebody's feelings, who the real ones are. Watch this. <clears throat> For a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Uh -huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. Listen up, sisters, listen up. And with gladness of heart, uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Now we serve our enemies. And we don't even know that there are enemies anymore. Now we serve them. We serve the same people who brought us here like this. What happened to this history? What happened to this? What happens to this happened to us? What happened to that? My brother, what happened to that? What happened? You forgot. Our people forgot. When they apologized, they done, they done made this right, they done fixed all of this here. They done, where, where my other side at? This one, this one. Hold that one up. They fixed this here, bro. They fixed this, they took this away. What happened? What they do that we forgot this now? What they do? What they do? We just, we serve now we serve our enemies. We don't even know that they are enemies. We don't even know that they are enemies. Watch this. We gonna read on though. Come on. Verse forty-eight. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Now. What, who do you have to serve? Who do you pay? Who do you who do you uh, 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 go to? Who do you uh, 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 beg to? Who do you apply for loans to? For hunger, thirst, or nakedness? Clothes on your back. Who? The same people that did that to you. The same people. Even if you work for me, I'm your brother, right? We both gotta pay them taxes, bro. We both gotta pay them taxes, and that ain't for us. Yeah, I know everybody pay taxes, but that ain't for us. That's in the Bible. We ain't supposed to pay taxes. Me and you, our people, ain't supposed to pay taxes. Especially if we built the damn land. Right. Especially. Come on. Which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. It says for whatever we want. For the license, who we got to go to? Who we got to go to for a license? Who is that? Yes, them people right there did that down there. The, people, the same people who brought us here in chains is the people we go to in one of all things. A death certificate, who you got to go to? A birth certificate, who you got to go to? Yeah, in one of all things. You can't come to your brother no more. Nah, right? Watch this. Matter of fact, they're going to try to put us off in a minute. Jump down to verse, uh, jump, jump, 64. 64. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. So, another curse is, our people will be scattered amongst all people, from one end of the earth, even unto the other. Right? Watch this. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Now, how is it that all of our people in all different type of religions. But we one people. How that happen? We reading about it right now. Some of us Islam, some of us Baptist, some of us Catholic, some of us Buddhist, some of us all type, uh, a five percenter, some of us all type of nonsense. But we the same people. How that happen? Don't all the Chinese do the same thing? Don't all the Japanese do the same thing? Don't all the Arabs do the same thing? So what happened to our people? We in the midst of everything because we were scattered for disobeying God. We were scattered for not being kings on this earth. That we love to say, oh, we kings. What's up, king? We ain't no kings. You king when you act like you, you belong to the most high God. He's the only king maker. We can't make ourselves king. Only the most high God can make us a king. Make anybody a king. Come on. Which neither thou, excuse me, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have no all this nonsense that we dealing with over here bro all of it I, we, that ain't where we come from that ain't what our people do 
That's why we die. That's why we were sent here as slaves. Because we, we start serving other gods. And we still do it to this day. We serve this demon. Some of our people serve a rock. Some of our people serve Buddha, a fat Chinese man. We in the midst of all type of foolishness, bro. Come on, jump down to verse 68. Now he trying to get away. Come on, watch this. Verse 68. And the Lord Come on. shall bring thee into Egypt again. Watch this. It says, now the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again. Now the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again. The word Egypt means bondage. It means bondage. The word Egypt means bondage. That's in the Bible. The Lord shall bring the black man and woman into bondage again. But wait a minute. We just left Egypt. So what Egypt or what bondage is the Most High God talking about now? Read on. Into Egypt again with ships. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now we will go into slavery or bondage by way of ship now. These curses that are listed in the Bible, that are listed in Deuteronomy 28, are the curses that only fit one people, and that's the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.